What's up guys, it's Rising, and today I have an Overlord Mass for the Dead video for you all. Now this game has been out for a couple weeks already, and we have already had a few events and a few new characters added. I'm hoping that Crunchyroll will continue to support the game, and going forward um, that we'll be able to see more characters, especially for Overlord fans. Now. This game is a little bit limited in terms of what it describes, especially about the game itself. So this video is to help you navigate through the game, basically through the UI as well as the main page. And this will be really useful for beginners or if you just need a refresher of where things are. So once you log in, you'll be brought here, which is the main page. Um, and there's really three things of importance on this main page. The first is going to be here on the far left. It is the Daily Pleiades vendor. It'll be Sebus or any of the combat maids, and they all offer useful and powerful items that you probably want to buy uh, eventually, but they are pricey, so be prepared to spend a lot of money here. But again, their inventory does change each day, so be sure to check back and to see what is available. The second important thing here on the main screen is you'll see I have four characters, Demiurge, Mare, Aura, and Ainz. These will be any four characters that you have unlocked or rather summoned. Now, it'll change every few hours. It's usually around 48 hours, but what you're looking for is they'll have a exclamation point bubble next to them. Unfortunately, none of mine do right now, but you'll want to click them and it'll bring up a single di single line of dialogue or two and that'll increase their intimacy, which is useful and will be needed for some missions in the future. So definitely be on the lookout for that. Check every couple hours to see if it's changed. The last important thing on this main page is the Chaotic Devil Tree here on the far right. And what this is, is just like the characters, every four to eight hours or so, there will be some goodies here denoted with glowing gold, glowing kind of platinum color, as well as a regular whitish color. These are freebies. So, you know, you'll definitely want to grab these whenever you see them. There's sometimes a couple daily missions or two that are associated with that, but be sure to check there every now and then. So, Moving on to the UI itself, we'll start in the top left corner, and what you see here is the, or rather, your nameplate. This nameplate displays your name, your current player level, um, as well as the cosmetic achievement icon that you want to display. If you actually click on it, you'll be able to see information about you and some of your playing statistics. And of note here is, of course, your cosmetic icon. You can choose whatever you want. You don't have to have the achievement set to get the bonus for whatever it is. So choose whatever you think looks cool. I'll just switch it. It doesn't really matter. And that's it for the nameplate. Immediately to the right of that, you have the VIP. This is a monthly um, subscription that if you've paid for, you'll be dis it'll be displayed here. To the right of that, we have stamina. Now, if you played a, K, uh, a gotcha game before, this is basically going to be what limits your actions. You want to progress in this game, either with your characters or gathering materials to improve them. Whatever it may be, it's going to cost stamina. And there's it's, it's shown in a fraction. And the fraction where the numerator, in this case, it's 60, that's your current stamina and the denominator, in my case 144, is your maximum or total stamina. And the way to increase your uh, maximum stamina is by increasing your player level. And you'll see that there's also a timer that's counting down. When it's counting down, that basically means that your stamina for every three minutes will be replenished by one point, um, up to 150. So if this were to be 150, instead of 144, this would be reduced to two minutes. So the more stamina you have, the better and more you're going to be playing. You will also notice that there's a plus button kind of next to that. You click that, you can use any potion, blue or red, to refresh that stamina at any point. Otherwise, your stamina will recover if you go up in player level or if you let this go and wait for um, it to fully recover. Do note that it is capped at five hours, so 
if I would recommend that you, um, if you're going to be sleeping, going to school, going to work, whatever it may be, that you definitely want this um, to be as close to zero as possible so that you can use you know, the time away to replenish that stamina. To the right, we have gold, pretty self-explanatory. This is your primary currency for doing just about anything character or chaos relic related in this game. It's almost like an added tax, so you won't be able to just have the materials you need to improve your character or chaos relic. You'll have to have gold to also um, supplement those upgrades. So you're going to want a lot of this, and don't be afraid to spend it when you need to, but just be aware that the more you have, obviously, the better position you'll be in. To the right of that, we have Chaos Stones. Now, this is the um, currency that you're going to be using for summoning characters or Chaos Relics. Again, just like gold, you want more, more of this and as much as possible. And you'll see there's also a plus button similar to Stamina. If you want to purchase Chaos Stones for real money, you have that option as well. To the right of that, we have three bars. Now, on this main page right here, all that does when you click it, is just hide the UI so you can pan around if you want to see more of the background I guess but clicking that from anywhere else and I'll show you in just one moment here what that will do is populate the bottom ribbon with the buttons I'll show you in just a few moments but of note is going to be this button here on the right hand side with my page you'll be able to click that from anywhere to immediately return back to the main page which is definitely helpful when you are you know several pages deep into the story or um, quest in single player so do keep that in mind underneath that we have what's called a banner and this is basically a series or a promotion of special characters or chaos relics that may be um, ongoing at the time you click them it'll bring up information sometimes it'll um, directly link you to the event or summon so be on the lookout for any new um, banners that are available. Now immediately under that we have our three main portals. This is basically where all the action is done. We have single, story, and multiple, or multiplayer. With single, single is pretty self-explanatory. Most of these are going to be single player um, missions that you can take undertake with your party in order to um, gain materials or gold or relics or really um, anything to improve your characters. I will note it's a little bit misleading because you definitely want to click this button right here to see what the objectives are because periodically, although this is single player, you can see right here, there will be a um, parameter that is something like creating multi-room in order to three-star the mission. So it is a little bit misleading, so definitely um, check them before you initiate the missions story this is mass for the dead's um, unique story mode and this is entirely single player if you've watched the anime or read the light novels there is a new storyline here it's similar to what you have read or have watched but there's definitely some new uh, and exciting things that do take place in the story when you first start out you'll probably be spending a lot of time here in order to get a lot of chaos stones and some easy experience but keep in mind there are two difficulties for the story basic and difficult you'll be starting out with basic and if you ever need additional experience for your higher level characters definitely switch to difficult because there is some good um, experience to be gained in these missions similarly there's three types of missions or rather episodes those are going to be story only you don't have to actually fight in these this will be quite simply story only and to progress the story There'll be boss fights, which will be denoted with this little red boss sticker. And there'll be regular episodes, which are simple combat that you'll um, fight against, usually three waves of enemies. And our last portal here is multiple, and this is pretty self-explanatory too. You can either create a room or join a room. So when you create a room, you are the host. And one thing to note here is in order to host a mission, you have to have whatever the stamina cost available. So if a mission costs 30 stamina and you only have say 25, it won't let you host it. 
So be sure to check your stamina before doing that. Join a room, you don't need any stamina to join. You just have to be able to join simply and you'll be able to help other players as well as gain some rewards. I will note that generally speaking, if you host a mission, you'll get better rewards as opposed to joining a room. But be uh, just be aware that there are differences between the two. All right, now we're going to look at the bottom ribbon, which I mentioned a few minutes ago, and that's going to be these basic seven buttons down here. These are all very important. So the first one is character, and when you click here, you're going to do anything character related here. So party edit, that's going to, um, so you can change your four, uh, four character lineup. Character strengthen, this is where you can increase their levels. I don't necessarily recommend it, but it can be done if you want to get them to a higher level. That is an option. Skill strengthen, just like um, their, the level, increasing their level, you can increase their abilities. So you'll definitely want to at least come here multiple times for your most frequently used characters. And lastly, list of affiliations. This is basically an information only section where you can see a summary of their stats and where they're at, as well as a little bit of lore to understand the characters. Next we'll go to Chaos Relic. Chaos Relics are basically equipment for your characters. They provide stat bonuses as well as some other miscellaneous bonuses which will be notified or excuse me noticed as passive skill. So magic skill attack power raised. Take another look at one of these here. Increased resistance to sleep, and you'll be able to see that they also um, increase the character's stats for specific um, specific stats there. And you'll definitely want to sell any that you don't think are useful or are not useful to any of your characters. Um, I'm kind of a collector, so I basically keep all of them, but you can probably feel free to sell anything that's three-starred or less. Strengthen or limit break. Like characters, you'll want to increase their the power level of these. Usually you can use other relics, but I would definitely recommend using the soups or strength and supplies. And you also have the option to increase your inventory should you need. Usually the 145, 150 that you start off with is more than enough, but you do have that option available. Next we'll go to Ashurbanipal. Now in the lore, that is the library in Nazrik, and true to, true to the, the name here as well, what you're looking at here is just information only sections as well. Of note is going to be character recollection, where if you need to see about where your character's intimacy levels are, this is a good place to look and see a snapshot of where each of them are at. Achievement list. Now I mentioned these a little bit earlier, but basically whenever you achieve certain um, um, macro goals in the game, you'll unlock a achievement icon, which is cosmetic, as well as all these various bonuses. So you can see gold, uh, gold gained boost big, technique type boost big, etc. And these are account wide. So you can see with everything that I've unlocked, I have all of these bonuses applied to my account. So I don't need the achievement icons set on my nameplate to have those um, in effect. They're automatically in effect right there. We also have the item list section, which is important if you need to see what items you have available and what you need to grind or farm for. Mission, this is going to be a section you will be visiting a lot, and these are non-quest specific missions that you'll definitely at a minimum want to complete daily, weekly, for your rank, as well as limited, um, because a lot of these are some good um, items that they provide, and they're usually pretty easy to accomplish. So definitely come back here, check what you need to do, and collect those rewards. Next, we'll go to shop. And at shop, we'll be greeted by Pandora's actor. And basically what we have here is the cash shop, where if you need to pay for certain items with real money, you can do that, as well as the exchange button, where you will be using the in-game currency 
to acquire certain items for any of your characters. Next we'll look at Summon. And true to its name here, we're going to be spending our Chaos Stones uh, as well as our tickets or our interaction points in order to acquire characters or Chaos Relics. Um, the banners I mentioned before on the main page are listed here and it definitely benefits you to look at the list button to see what sort of odds you are against when you are trying to acquire a certain character or Chaos Relic. Next we will go to Function. Now with Function you probably won't spend a whole lot of time here but there is a help section if you need to check or reference something really quickly. Um, it is written a little strangely in some places so I would definitely make sure that you understand what the intent was for whatever they wrote, um, the author wrote, but there is some useful information here. There's also full download. I definitely recommend doing this when you have um, usually about 45 minutes to an hour of uninterrupted time uh, in order to download the full version of the game. This will stop you from having to download little usually a megabyte or so less when you start missions particularly in the story but this is very helpful to make sure that you do at some point as well as data transfer if you need to transfer your account to another device that is what you're going to be using in data transfer because you can only have your account on one device so we'll go back to the main page and we have three final sections they will be underneath the nameplate. This first one with the exclamation point, this is notification. This is going to display any server provided notifications such as upcoming events or current technical issues. Underneath that we have presence. This is the section where you collect a lot of your mission and story rewards if you three star them um, as well as login bonuses if, uh, if applicable and you'll definitely want to routinely come here to pick up any goodies that you have acquired. And the last section is the companion. And the companion is basically the social tab of the game. So here you can view and manage your companions uh, as well as um, support them. Now supporting them, I will let you know right now, there are several missions particularly to your rank that require you to support your uh, companions a certain amount of times as well as having this orange bar on the bottom of their nameplate be filled all the way. So you definitely want to start this as soon as possible because it does take a very long time even if you are maximizing the amount of trust that you are gaining um, gain per day with your companions. So be sure to start this as soon as possible and play with your companions as much as well in order to increase this trust bar so you can not only get a reward but again there's missions later in particular ranks i believe it's platinum that require you to have those maxed out so again come back here at least daily make sure you're supporting them and hopefully your companions will be supporting you as well so i'll navigate back to the main page here and that basically brings us to the end of this navigation video Really, the more that you play the game, the more accustomed you'll be to navigating the game, but hopefully this video at the very least set a um, solid foundation for what things are and where they are. So thank you very much for watching and be on the lookout for more. Later!